Hello and welcome. Before we start solving this logarithmic equation, let us recall that for these two log terms to be defined, then x minus 9 must be positive. That is, x minus 9 must be greater than 0. When you add 9 to both sides of this inequality, we have that x must be greater than 9. So whatever values of x we calculate as solutions to this logarithmic equation must be greater than 9. Now, to simplify this logarithmic equation, we start with this second term. What we are going to do is that we will change the base of this logarithm from base 2x minus 18 to base 2 to match this first term. When we apply the change of base formula for logarithms to this term, it becomes log to base 2. Remember, 2 is the new base of 6 divided by log to base 2 of the old base. Now, we can factorize this. So, this is 2 into 2x divided by 2 is x and minus 18 divided by 2 is minus 9. But when you look at this, you will see that this is a product. Recall that log a times b is equal to log a plus log b. So this denominator can be written as log to base 2 of 2 plus log to base 2 of x minus 9. And of course, in the numerator, we still have log to base 2 of 6. Now, since we have log to base 2 of x minus 9 here, and log to base 2 of x minus 9 here, let us do a substitution. Let log to base 2 of x minus 9 be equal to the letter D. With this substitution, we can now rewrite the original equation as D. Plus, remember that this second term is now all of this. So we have log to base 2 of 6 divided by log to base 2 of 2, which is 1, plus this, which is equal to D. And of course, everything is equal to 3. Now, to get rid of this fraction, let us multiply through this equation by this denominator, that is 1 plus d. d times 1 is d. d times d is d squared. This fraction multiplied by 1 plus d, of course, this is going to cancel that, leaving us with log to base 2 of 6. And this is equal to 3 times 1, which is 3, plus 3 times d, which is 3d. And rearranging this equation, we have d squared plus d minus 3d plus log to base 2 of 6 minus 3 is equal to 0. d minus 3d is minus 2d. So this is d squared minus 2d plus log to base 2 of 6 minus. Now, let us write 3 in terms of log to base 2. Remember that log to base a of a to power b is equal to b. So, in this case, we have 3 and we are trying to write it in terms of log to base 2. So, this is going to be equal to log to base 2 of 2 to the power 3. 2 to the power 3 is equal to 8. So, this is log to base 2 of 8 and of course this is equal to 0 but also you know that we can combine these two logarithms when we do that this equation becomes d squared minus 2d plus log to base 2 of 6 over 8 is equal to 0 so ultimately we have the quadratic equation d squared minus 2d plus log to base 2 of, let us reduce this fraction to its lowest terms. We will divide both the numerator and the denominator by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3 and 8 divided by 2 is 4.
and of course this is equal to zero. Now to solve this quadratic equation, let us start by moving this term over to the right hand side. When we do that, we have d squared minus 2d is equal to minus log to base 2 of 3 over 4. Now let us divide minus 2, that is the coefficient of d, by 2. Square it and add to both sides of this equation. When we do that, we have d squared minus 2d plus minus 1 squared is equal to minus log to base 2 of 3 over 4 plus minus 1 squared. Now, you know that this is a perfect square. So we take 1d and we take 1 minus 1 and we square both. Of course, you know that if we expand this, this is exactly what we are going to get. And this is equal to minus 1 squared is 1 minus log to base 2 of 3 over 4. And of course, once more, let us write 1 in terms of log to base 2. Back to this formula. So we have log to base 2 of 2 to the power 1. So this equation is d minus 1 squared is equal to log to base 2 of 2 minus log to base 2 of 3 over 4. Once more, we can combine these two logarithms. This is equal to log to base 2 of 2 divided by 3 over 4. This is equal to log to base 2 of 2 multiplied by the reciprocal of this fraction, which is 4 over 3. This is equal to log to base 2 of 2 times 4, which is 8, divided by 3. And finally, all that we have to do is to take square root of both sides of this equation. When we do that, this becomes d minus 1 is equal to plus or minus the square root of log to base 2 of 8 over 3. And of course, when we add 1 to both sides of this equation, we have that d is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of log to base 2 of 8 over 3. But then let us not forget that d is equal to log to base 2 of x minus 9. So that simply means that log to base 2 of x minus 9 is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of log to base 2 of 8 over 3. And of course, you know that this statement simply means that 2 to the power this is equal to x minus 9. So we have that x minus 9 is equal to 2 to the power 1 plus or minus the square root of log to base 2 of 8 over 3. And adding 9 to both sides of this equation, we have that x is equal to 9 plus 2 to the power 1 plus or minus the square root of log to base 2 of 8 over 3. Of course, you know that x1 is equal to 9 plus 2 to the power 1 plus the square root of log to base 2 of 8 over 3. And the second value of x is equal to 9 plus 2 to the power 1 minus the square root of log to base 2 of 8 over 3. Now, approximately this first value of x is equal to 13.5616. And approximately this second value of x is equal to 9.8769. So these are the two values of x that satisfy this logarithmic equation. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a thumbs up to support the channel. Thanks for watching. And you can see more tutorials here.